Hello friends, welcome back to FIFA 20. This time, we got Pfeiffer's Realism Mod 3.0. I've taken a long break from this game, and admittedly, it's been very nice. It's been extremely nice. I, oh god, this game has frustrated me to no end, and I went to Football Manager for a while, and I'm going to keep that going. However, I want to play FIFA as well. Because with this break, I played a few games the other day and I was like, you know what? That break was good because now I'm having fun again. Um, but yeah, let's let's look. We're at Leyden Orient, okay? This is a good opportunity to... Uh, uh, oh yeah, you can see my manager name, Jasse Le Uh We are a French manager. It has nothing to do with my name. Um, but we're at Leyen Orient because they have a connection with Spurs, or at least a little bit of a connection with Spurs. They have two Spurs loanees, and Keziah Sterling and George Marsh, and then obviously Harry Kane has partnered with them to do the jersey for next year. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's just start off. Let's look at this board objective stuff. We uh, The latest objectives, fish mid-table, that's our main goal. I'm I'm looking to get promoted, let's be honest. Uh, sign four players to the Youth Academy. You got it, sirs. Um, Emirates FA Cup reached the round of 32. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard. Youth development is a priority of mine and of the board, so you love to see it. Um, I don't really know how to do the attendance thing. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yeah. Um, one thing I do want to mention is that if a player performs, we're going to be de upgrading them manually i i uh kind of love doing that i think that's one of the cooler things about the realism mod is that you can just edit players in the thing but yeah here's george marsh we're going to give him some drills we're going to give ape hape i don't really know how to say his name some drills uh sergeant why not I really don't know if I should really play Kazaya Sterling that much. I'll give him a fair shot, but I don't know. He's, I mean, he had all those injury problems this year, so I don't really know how much of a future there is for him. But we do have him, so we will use him. Anyways, let's sim through this preseason tournament, and I'll be back, and we'll make some signings, set up a youth academy, uh, let's uh, look at the captain. Hello, Josh. Uh, warm welcome to Lane Orient. I want 110%. Thank you for coming to me. Um, we already have some transfer offers for someone that we probably don't want. Yes, indeed. Very well, James Dayton. I really am not going to get much for him, so I'm just going to accept whatever is on the table. Um, yeah, but I'll see you back after the preseason. I did want to show you what I'm kind of thinking of tactically. So I really like a two-striker formation, and I kind of want to try some really uh, overlapping uh, fullbacks. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to have uh, Ekpiteta and Brophy just zoom up and down the wings. Hopefully their pace is good. Uh, we're going to kind of do some good tactics here. Uh, or at least try to. Um, I know Dennis is a good player. I'm going to keep Marsh in the CDM position. Um, and we're going to... We aren't really going to mess with their instructions, the fullbacks, because they will naturally get forward with this formation. Um, and then of Wright and Clay, there should probably be one that should go forward a bit more, and that will be Wright. So... You get forward. Wonderful. I also like this because it's pretty defensively solid. Um, yes. And since dynamic potential is not really a big thing in the first season, I'm just going to um, use whoever I'm going to use um, because the youth doesn't really matter as much in the first season since they can't grow because dynamic potential isn't a thing the first season, which is stupid. But, um, yeah, I'm still going to give the youth a chance, don't worry. But, yeah, uh, now I will see you back after the preseason. 
we are going to go ahead. We've had one or two players be sold um, and set up a youth scout. So, yeah, you can see a few of these transfers are broken down. I didn't want to sell Clay. He's pretty good. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get a youth scout. And we're also going to do the future star thing. Oh, man, all these scouts are really not within our budget. Um, okay, well, Anthony Hopper, you will be our first scout. You're going to go to good old England. Um, oh, man, it cost a lot. And we're going to look for physically strong, of course. And then hopefully uh, we get through another round of this preseason tournament so we can get some more money. But yeah, we are going to scout a future star as well. Hopefully he is good. Who knows? <laughs> you never know. Um, and now we have reached the final. We are raking in some money here. Um, I, If you're going to ask me, George Marsh, he's going to stay here his whole damn career, okay? <laughs> he's uh, one of the players I really want to keep. And I'm going to look to bring other Spurs loanies in. Don't you worry. Um, you know, don't make it unrealistic, though. Or at least I'm not going to. Uh, that sucks. But I'm going to try and make it at least a little bit realistic. I'm not going to go for anyone, you know, that wouldn't come here like uh, Troy Parrott or anyone, you know. Unless we get into the championship. Uh, how much money do we have now? Again, 418,000. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can get another scout. We can. We won't be able to send him anywhere. <laughs> but um, we do have one. So that's good. And he's a lot better than our previous one. And I think that's uh, due to the realism mod. This is really the starting lineup I want to roll with. Um, on goal and Sterling would be a good partnership. I, I've watched Chani's series. Okay, I know Angol is amazing. Uh, Dennis is really good as well. And then we have, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much who I want to keep around. Um, Maguire Drew, I'm going to look to play as a striker or maybe in the cam position. And then, yeah, I mean, we're already clearing out shop here. Um, look at, let's look at our age because I think we've already done a number on the amount of people that are old here. McAniff. This guy is ridiculous. <laughs> He's 37. And then the next oldest person we have is 29. We've really already done a clean out of this club, and I love it. Um, We're going to go scout Ireland. Yep. And then that's all of our scouting network gone. Uh, we will need money to actually sign people up, though going to be a very hard beginning of the season why is this glitching out i don't know but yeah it's going to be a pretty hard beginning of the season because we don't have a strong squad scout has returned he's 14 also yeah the faces look weird i know but i mean that kind of sucks. We're going to have to wait a while. He's uh, Dutch, though, so that's nice. Um, yeah. Let's look at the calendar and see what games we're going to play. So, shouting him at home we're going to play. Probably going to send Macclesfield and play Leeds this episode. And then sim Stevenage. All right. I'll see you back for Cheltenham. All right, here we are, Cheltenham at home. This is our starting lineup. Um, we are actually going to be starting. It's kind of a difficult situation, I guess. Sweeney, he's really bad, and I should be training him, but he's going to start at left back. Um, yeah, actually, you know, McAniff might be pretty good, but we'll save him for later on in the game. Anyways. Cheltenham at home. This is our first game of the season. Let's go. I don't even uh, really know the mascot of Land Orient. I should probably do some research. 
Hello, everyone. You know, some footballers enjoy a rainy Derek day. Ranley I'm Dixon. Sure also, I do want to mention, game, uh, season, I know Lane Orient, uh, I know the Realism mod has its problems, it, however, points, move on to the next one I, uh, I really want to use it because there are, I think the positive out, outweigh the negatives, and I will work around the negatives to make this the best it can be, but yeah, I'm excited to do this. Let's look at their starting lineup this way. Um... Reed Varney, I think he's pretty good. Uh, Long, I don't really know many of the people in League 2, I'll be honest. But yeah, here we go. Let's just go ahead and start. And so the match is we are underway. off. Lee Ungol has the first touches here. Going to be looking for a balanced possession play. That's a late challenge. Far from a smooth challenge. Early yellow card here. Oh, jeez. They're working me here. Oh, that's a good shot. Nice save. Defending a corner here. Cheltenham. Header away. Nice job, Dennis. Okay, not nice running away with it. I'm so used to having a bit more speed when we break away. Oh. Head that way, please. Okay, that's not away, but we'll take it. Nice pass. Jeez. Sweeney. Do all you can do, which is run. Wright has it. He's pretty okay with the ball at his feet. Just can't hold on to the ball here. Nice steal away. Ungle. Onside, maybe. Dennis. Oh, Dennis scores our first goal in a late and orient manager position. Let's go. He's going to be really crucial for us in these first few years. Um, I'm going to be doing the upgrades as a month-to-month -month basis, like whoever performs the best in a month. Um, and Dennis is doing pretty good. <laughs> Been pretty much the only person I've seen do anything in this game, and that's a really nice finish. You always take a risk when it comes in like that, but he took a chance. He was brave, just not his day on that occasion. I saw that run, and Wright is going to be... In over the top. Oh, jeez. Okay, yes, he is. Give it inside. Dennis dupes him in the box again. Dennis! He has a brace inside 30 minutes. Late in Orient 2, Jelenim 0. I may have to up the difficulty here. I thought I was going to have a hard time with Legendary. Ooh. The skills. Dennis. I think he's, uh, let me check here. He's 26? Yeah, he is. But we can upgrade him. He might stay around for a while. You never know. Pretty useful to have a four star, four star. Let's go. Leighton Orient off to a wonderful start here. We do have it near our box. We have to defend well here. Kind of some risky defense. That's a great slide tackle way. George Marsh. Oh, you love to see it. Inheriting Eric Dyer's traits. I actually, I know George Marsh played at right back against, uh, uh, when we were doing our intra-squad friendly in preseason, the fake preseason so look at that strength from right he's been impressing too and goal in behind here oh right just can't get it oh come on he wins the header but two no one Marsh is covering at right back. You love to see it. Inheriting Musa Suzoko. Oh. We're working the ball really fast here. 
Kazaya make that run. It's not a great ball over the top, but he has the speed. No. Probably going to go into the first... What in the world just happened to Ekpiteta? Um, we're probably going to go into halftime with a 2-0 lead here. Clay. If not more. Nice little cheeky back heel. Love to see it. it looks promising. He's going for Working the ball pretty here. well here. I saw that. Kazaya, that's an okay shot, but it probably should have been better. Just work it. Oh, that's good blocking. It will be 2-0 at half. That was really easy, not gonna lie. But I know how FIFA is. Sometimes it lures you in, and then it's like... It's really easy one game, and then you go into the next game, and you can't even touch the ball. So, we'll see what uh, FIFA has entailed for us. They've already given the ball away. On goal. On goal! He lays him on the ground. The shoot is 3-0 here against Cheltenham. What is going on here? Maybe it's the start of something new at Leighton. I thought this was going to be a very difficult beginning of the season. Really nice finish. Just drills it to the far post. Lee Angle is first of the season, hopefully of many. This is a good opportunity to uh, give someone uh, a chance here off the bench. Oh, that was a bad tackle, Sterling. Well, the figure Derek being banded around is around 30 million pounds. What sort of play? Giving it a try. Nice block. Keeper, off your line. Let's go, lad. Nice marsh, low skills. Just work the ball really fast. Not quite the best positioning from the forwards, but I'll take it. They just haven't really troubled me here, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, they do steal it off of Clay. Barney. Cortez. This looks promising. Oh, okay, he's kinda of duped me there. It's an okay cross, but we'll get it. Just quick passing out of defense. I'm not scared. Okay, that was a bit excessive, Dennis. Oh, that was not great from Sweeney. It's my fault though. Have to track back here. Cross, really. uh, yeah, that is a bad cross. Let's make some changes. Um, who's tired? Um, Sweeney's a wee bit. I'm actually going to try McAniff at left back. Why not? Uh, Judd will come in. Then we get one more. Let's uh, bring Satiryu on because he's quite fast as well and Sterling hasn't really impressed. Very good use of advantage there by the official letting the play carry on. Oh, he's so quick with his feet, Dennis. Oh, Satiru just got to keep that run going. Right. Right, I love him so far. I hope he's a bit younger. Let me check. Because he is really physically dominant. No, he's... He's 29, but his physicality is great. It just shoves people off the ball. <clears throat> Come on, McAniff. I know you're not a defender, but I'm using you as one. Oh. And just like that, they've lost possession. McAnoff, Marsh, right. Oh my God. League 2 can't deal with these progressive French tactics. Just a few more minutes to hold on here. I'm pretty comfortable with this, though. We've just completely outplayed them. Jasse Latuker is uh, 
He's too good. Okay, maybe that was bad. Nice save. He's been uh, pretty good this game. Off his line well. That's a really bad clearance, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, come on, George. You got some running room. You're, you are not that fast in FIFA, but... Play. That's okay. Well, couldn't keep creativity. I I wish I Dennis Serkin was in this game because I would 100% bring him in. I might bring Harvey Wyden. What a goal! I I thought that was going to be like a terrible just dink, but all right, they get consolation, and that's a pretty nice consolation. And some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his wow. Shot First time, nothing else matters the inside of the... I mean, it goes through his foot, but wow. That's a really nice finish. I don't blame the keeper there. Varney, yep. He's pretty good. I will take a 3-1 victory, though. Very, very happy with our debut at Leighton Orient. Very fun to play with. Excited to do a bit more. Blow the whistle, ref. This is over. There we go. Lane Orient 3, Cheltenham 1. Dennis got 9.4. He was brilliant. Two goals. Um, did he get an assist? Right on goal. And Sterling got an assist. Overall, just very good team performance. Wright was also wonderful. But yeah, Dennis, definitely the standout performer. I don't really go press uh, press conferences unless I really need to, by the way. Um, George Marsh, you are welcome, good sir. I'm going to sim the next game. And then we'll play leads. And that will be a good way around it off. I also think we'll get a scouting report, so that's going to be pretty nice. Yeah, this is going to be pretty hard to simulate and win, but I'm going to try. Away versus Macclesfield Town. Let's see if we can get anything. Gotta sit through this a bit. Clay immediately gets a yellow card. Wilson leads off the scoring for Macclesfield. Do I recognize anyone from Macclesfield? No, I don't. Made some changes. On goal scores for us. I'll take it. Clay gets a little knock. Pearson scores for them. That's 2-1 to Macclesfield. I'm okay with that away from home. Player injured. How long is he out? Four weeks. Okay. That's not great because he's one of our best players. We're going to actually play McAniff there. I know that seems like a strange decision, but he has kind of a good defensive uh, thing, and he's not the fastest, so maybe it'll work out. But uh, yeah, now we have leads. It's going to be a tough ask, but maybe we can pull off an upset. You never know. Oh, also there's a scouting update. Let's go and see if anyone's good. We got Zaki Agudelo. Sign him up. He looks great. And then Troy Craney. <laughs> I love it. I love these names. Um, you know what? Just bring him in. Um, Zaki is <laughs> not available to sign up, but Troy is... And he's pretty fast. We'll bring him in. Why not? Away versus Leeds. Let's go. All right. Leeds against Leighton Orient. This is the starting lineup. We had a few people really tired, so we are benching Sterling. He's going to be in the reserves. We are putting Craney on the bench. You never know. He has a five-star weak foot. A low attacking work rate, though, which is not great. Uh, but he can play Cam. So, that's pretty good. Uh, and yeah, besides that, yeah, that's our team. 
they're, everyone else is pretty fit. Uh, Judd also comes into the lineup. We'll see how Leeds starts, though. Because they, they're pretty good Leeds. Should be near at the top of the championship. Let's look at their starting lineup. Bamford up top. Jamie Shackleton. McCalmont. Forshaw. Stevens. Harrison. Davis. Um, huh, no White. And no um, Luke Ayling. Pretty interesting, but still a relatively strong lineup. Leeds versus Lane Orient. Here we go. Have to watch out for pra Patrick Bamford. He's not great at scoring, but his work rate, you know? That's why Bielsa loves him. <clears throat> We're also starting Marsh in a bit of a advanced position just because he's better than the other CDM we have at passing so we'll see how that works they already have a shot uh, they already have a cross into the box it's not great 1-0 leads <laughs> really nice finish who is that yeah, that's it's a that's a good goal strike. there. Brilliant, brilliant effort. Is that McCalmont? Who is that? Forshaw, Adam Forshaw. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if we can get anything from this game. Uh, maybe I was wrong about being too easy. <laughs> We are going to have to rely on our Youth Academy a lot, but I think I should start upgrading Sweeney, uh, or training Sweeney, because he is very bad in all areas besides pace. They're already in a good position again. Oh my god, what was that pass? Terrible, terrible, terrible. It's 2-0 leads. Oh man. Playing out the back against Leeds is not turning out to be good, isn't it? That is a terrible pass. Ooh. Bamford scores. Out to Sweeney. Into on goal. Just drive into the box. You never know. He has a shot. Why not? We get a corner. The captain. Yes, we do get a corner. This is our opportunity. Who delivers? Um, I guess Wright does. Aim it to this number 31 here. Eh, it's a good header, but it's not going to trouble the keeper. Nice effort, Cisse. I don't know if the gameplay part of the Realism mod makes headers better, but that would be really nice. Because I like headers. And have to throw As do most people. <laughs> Dennis doing the defensive work. And they'll get ready for the throw in. They've just given the ball away. I'll take it. That is not where I threw that. Okay. What on earth happened there? I don't know. Come on, George. Judd. It's opening up for them. He has a little bit of pace. Delivered into the box. No one there. No one there to help him. I was not going to take a shot there. I might. I probably should have, though. Just run with it a bit, Sweeney. Wait for some support. Nice, nice. Nice play. Dennis in behind here. I mean, on goal. On goal? That is the worst finish I've ever seen. What can you say? I mean, I tried there. Dennis, much better than on goal. We're troubling them. We're working them a bit, Leeds. They do have a very early dominant lead, but we've looked 
better since their second goal. That was like a Musa Suzuko cross. That was terrible. You know, I'm proud of the lads. They're, they're showing up here against Leeds. They just were kind of overwhelmed by their start. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Pure ball control. And Bamford. Poor shot. Jack Harrison has it. Moving the ball effectively. Oh. Give it away. Almost in again here, Leeds. They are attacking at the end of the first half. They have a corner. What is that pool over there? What the hell is that? Defend against this, please. Thank you. 2-0 at halftime, but we've come back into this a bit. All right, second half started here. I'm looking for just a goal. I want to see if we can get a goal against the championship side. That would be pretty nice. Oh, that touch, Dennis. I like what he's doing, though. He's kind of coming deep wherever uh, we need someone to pick up the ball, and then he's playing off of that, which is really good. However, it physically drains him. <laughs> so we'll see if he can keep that up. Oh. Oh, Cisse. What a tackle. On goal. He's gone beat for pace. On goal. He's on a strong foot here. Oh, they steal it away, though. Mars doing his defensive duties. It's a bad shot from Leeds. Let's make some changes. Sweeney is almost dead on his feet. Um, McAniff is going to come in. Craney, I think, will come in, make a debut. Why not? Um, besides that, I think we leave it there for now. Oh, I think that's uh, St. Augustine, who's really good. Kind of scared for that. Yep. Cissé. Cisse has been the one to impress this game, but Craney's in behind here, the Youth Academy product. Oh, that's a good shot. He was shoved off the ball a little bit. I mean, what? I, I don't think that's a low attacking work rate. He was off on a run as soon as we got the ball. It's a good shot though. Test the keeper right to deliver. So the corner played into the box. No one's there. Marsh, close him down. What in the world was that? Come on now. They are pressing a bit too much here for my liking. St. Augustine. Get on the end of that. Nope. Craney, get back and defend. McAniff. It's three to Leeds. Really nice near post finish under the keeper. Since we have nothing to lose, we might as well test our new striker. Uh, Wilkinson does not look bad. We also have uh, Maguire Drew, who's 21, so... You never know. Miles Judd doing some good defense. Cisse and his physicality winning out again. Definitely be, been the player of the match for us. Wilkinson can't get over the top here. No, he cannot. Precise ball movement. Only a few minutes left to go here at Leeds. 
We haven't had many chances, but still promising signs. I'll take it against the champions championship side. Mechaniff, that's a good steal away. Can he put it away? Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Cisse. Oh. Mars just didn't have much help there. As I keep saying, Leeds are just so quick to close us down. Cannot pass the ball quick enough. Cissé, he's very slow, but he's an absolute tank of a human. Wilkinson was almost in behind, but not to be... Cissé, I love him actually. Craney's in behind here though. Can a Youth Academy product score? No, he can't. He hits the post. Oh no. He's shown glimpses though. Two of our best chances have come from him. Just delivered into the box. Why not? Not to be. It will be 3 0 at the end against Leeds here. Good performance, though. I'm happy with that. I can take a few things from it. We were never going to get far. <laughs> All right. Last little thing of the episode here. We need to rotate a little bit for this simulated game. And then we can wrap up shop here. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really don't have many good backups here, do we? But I really like Cissé's performance last game. Stevenage, let's simulate. Already led off with a goal from Dennis. Definitely in contention for getting the upgrade. Uh, let's just simulate to the end here. 2-0 against Stevenage at home. Wilkinson also gets a goal. You'll love to see it. Um, I'm going to quickly check. Cissé is 28, but his physicality is amazing, so... I don't know. We might keep him around just for roughing people up. But yeah, if you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. And I'll be posting these probably every other day, and I'll keep the Football Manager series going if I can. But I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.